What's your name again? Susie Wong Gone Wrong. Really? <laughs> no, my real name's Jean Christine. You said you mentioned you did cataloging or? Well, I was, um, before I retired, secretary, short and secretary. And I used to be a driver, because I used to work for lady cabs also. You've been living in the state for 30 years. I moved on this estate when Samantha was about three and a half. So, six... 1971, 72, 73, about 73, 74. Do you know everyone who lives on this block? Not everyone, no. Most of them? By sight, yes. But by names, I'm terrible with names anyway. Lovely geezer, Arab. And I was on my Todd, as usual. I love to be independent now. And I'm looking over the balcony like so. All of a sudden, I, I hear a sound. And I look, sir. And this guy's standing there with the door ajar. He says, excuse me. I said, yeah. I thought he said, squeeze me, but... <laughs> He was doing, I don't know, but mm -hmm. he was doing me okay, so yeah. we was happy. But that's where my daughter, my youngest girl, was a bit upset because he was so much younger than I. So you were together? Yeah. Oh. I mean, there was about 15 years between us. Wow. But he, no, but what turned me on the most, good masseur. Really? Because you like that, no, but like the hospital says, they could do no more. He said, well, let me show you. Boy, did I go back every day after that. <laughs> oh. And I mean, I have to have it really hard. You know, like, as like a woman, they think, soft. <laughs> I said, why don't you get a cat like so? <laughs> that what? This one? Anyone, but. <laughs> the hoodie is, it's like you're hiding your face and everything from everyone. No, not really. Why don't you wear it then? I don't want it. Thank you. <laughs> See, that's the choice we have, isn't it? Because I'm not a drinker, really. I'd rather smoke, especially hashish. <laughs> no, 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 you know what I say yeah. about this, yeah? It doesn't kill my pain, but it relaxes me. Yeah. Because you know if you get a pain and you go, oh, it's double worse. Mm -hmm. Do you know my when doctor's known for years, about. 15 years he's known. When they say about pack up smoking, I said, what's the point? I've got to have me roll up. It's got to be the hard stuff. It's not um, that weedy stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need no gloves. What is your name, by the way, darling? How many times have you been asking for the last because she's terrible with names. She does forget a lot of names. If you're not going to remember my name for the last 30 years, I'll be to remember them. In five living, I lost one son. Born. Oh, how can I describe it? I didn't feel anything, this labour gonna... And I was living with a young girl, she had nowhere to go. June, Junie Gad. Anyway, the labour started, boom, 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 boom. I said, June, go to the garage. You know, by the time she get back to the flat, he was born. So you were on your own, and it just... Yeah. And it's like... Uh, what do I do now? I can't get up. I had to hold him. I wouldn't touch the umbilical cord because it was still giving him oxygen, etc., uh, etc. Et when she returned, guess who she come with? Not a doctor or a nurse. The old Bill. With my legs wide open. I'm not in a position to be caught in, yeah? I said, get them out of here, June. I don't want policemen. I want hospital staff. Then you better get them quick, because I can't see them breathing even. And they can't do sweet at all. But to stand there and go. 
so it didn't survive? I lost him. The midwife did get there. She put me on the sofa. She had to do the umbilical cord, which I would not have tried to. And they just took him away. I really had a breakdown then, nearly two years. I couldn't get over that ever. Yearning from wanting you and if you would let them hold you, oh, how grateful I will be. Come. Come. I'm speaking to a neighbour. Oh, sorry. We're being very rude, I swear. Okay. Excuse my language, sorry. excuse my friend. to you, don't ring me ever again. And you didn't know, excuse me. You didn't respect my view, yeah? Why you ring me from yesterday? What do you want, a fuckery? You want to fight me? Well, I ask you never to ring me ever again. Can I Is ask that... you a personal question? Yes, go there. That's what you're here for, isn't it? <laughs> How yeah. many guys have you slept with? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I couldn't count, darling. That's how true I am. Being on my own now, I can do what I bloody like. <laughs> I don't have to get up and get brekkie, dinner, tea, or... Do this, do that, do the other. I'm my own boss now. Yeah. Paint job that a neighbour I was telling you about, my mm -hmm. toy boy, Mama <laughs> Sura. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. He just slapped some paint on just to help until the rehab was being done because mm -hmm. we expected to go back to where we were already. Otherwise, I would never have moved out of that place over there, St Helena. Mm -hmm. I like the name better than Greenaway. Because mm -hmm. greener way is hmm, neither here nor there. Yeah. But St Helena, I don't know, it has something to do maybe with the religion. Mm -hmm. That's your don't ex. Miss this. And the son of, and the father the stepfather of, oh, to son, Samantha. Samantha. But you haven't had any children with him? We've been, I still say together, yeah. 30 odd years. Okay. That's and, the longest um, relationship, as in marriage. And who's... Oh, yeah, this is Samantha in King's Cross when I had to do her hair because mm. I was going to get her passport. So I was just checking that she was fit to go to the shop, Ma and Pa, in Australia. When did he pass away? Just before my eldest grandson was born, which is, which is a shame you... because would have been his first grandson. How did he pass away? 17, no, over 17 years now. How did he pass away? Well, actually, I don't know for sure because my mother's very secretive and it's like... Um, is your relationship with all your children good or do you have any problems no. with them? Sorry to say, no. Do you want to explain? No comment. And if you would let them hold you, oh, how grateful I will be. These arms of mine. 
And yet my first husband is a landlord of a pub. Oh. But then again, he's an alky. So it's the one that beat you. Yeah. I think that's what it was. I didn't know at the time because I was only 18 when I got married, 1961. But uh, being a Catholic, we couldn't use protectives. Yeah. But he was an atheist anyway. He couldn't care about anybody else but himself. The baby was crying more so, getting more upset. The next minute I feel smack. Mm. Now I'm holding him to use the pot and he smacked me right in the nose from God. him driving. Pardon? How, I mean, why did you run away when Because did... he used to beat me and I was afraid he was going to murder the lot of us. Plus, hear this now, cheeky bastard. He was holding this young girl, not as a hostage. The police were looking for she, right? And he was holding her in our home and trying to tell me, Jean, if the police come and I'm not here, you don't know nothing. He said, because she's a policeman's daughter. I think she was running away and he was, you know, helping her to hide herself. And then how did you but run away from her? me and the children, our children, and it's a copper's fucking daughter. What an idiot in. So this particular night, I opened the survey natch to ask if there was any more washing up to do before I relax. What were they doing? Fucking each other on my sofa. Oh my God. What would it do to you to see this? Oh my God. All this going on, not behind your back even. When was the last time you had sex? <laughs> sex? Uh, about six weeks now. But I'm a wanker, so <laughs> I still get satisfaction. <laughs> Have a good night. Nice to see you, to see you nice. I'll, I'll come see you on Monday. I say night, night, God bless, whichever <laughs> God. Sweet dreams to the both of you. Yeah. Be good, if not, be careful. And I'll go and enjoy my own company, as I do, <laughs> when necessary. Yeah. Well, I could have had Ross around, who was on the phone to me. Yeah. yeah.